I usually meet and greet my friends at the airport and along the way we talk about the things that they have prepared and packed before coming to Thailand. And trust me guys, 90% of the things that they do is not necessary. So good morning everyone, good morning from Bangkok and exactly from one of the most beautiful places in Bangkok, Icon Siam. Today I'm here to share with you 12 things that you should not do before coming to Thailand or maybe not pack while you are coming to Thailand. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the credit card or cash situation. Many of you think what to carry with cash or credit cards, or both. The problem here in Thailand and usually in most of the foreign countries are the percentage that they take when you withdraw cash from your debit or credit cards. So the rates are high and I don't recommend you to use your credit cards as the primary payment option. So how much cash to carry? Well, you can bring as much as you can according how long you are going to stay and how much you are willing to spend. So carry cash with you, foreign currencies, and you can convert here with good rates, better than paying for credit card transactions. So keep in mind, you don't need your credit card here unless you are out of cash. Okay, this one is really important. Why to book your tours or transportations or rent a car online before even you come to Thailand? That's not a good idea. Guys, most of the time the services or tours you will book online will be much higher cost than the ones that you can book once you land in Thailand. Concerning the tours, they are everywhere. You can bargain, negotiate and guess what? When it's low season, you will get the lowest price. That won't happen online. Another thing, the transportation services and car rent are a lot here too. So why to get the high priced ones? Here is another thing. Those who carry maps and need for tour guides or directions to explore historical places or famous landmarks. Thailand is one of the beautiful places on the earth where you can explore everywhere without maps or guides. Everything is online. The maps, the guides, the advices and easy to navigate. In the capital city or even in the islands. So why to carry maps or guided when you can explore without extra costs? Now that you know about the things that you should not do before coming to Thailand, let's talk about the things that you should not pack while you are coming to Thailand. Simple medical tablets or medicines. No need at all. I have lots of questions last time about this matter and what to bring and not to bring. Let me make it simple. You don't need paracetamols, panadols, advils or such stuff. All these things with vitamins and more are available in 7-Elevens and markets. No need even to go to the pharmacy. Just enter, grab what you want and pay as simple as that. Now if you are sick in Thailand and you need simple medications for cough, flu and such things, 
Yet again, you can visit the nearest pharmacies and trust me, you will get the best local medicines with good prices and fast recovery. But if you need prescribed medications, then bring it with you, as much as you need. And no problem at the airport, as long as it's your own medications. So no need for carrying usual simple medications, get it from here. Toiletries leave them home, don't bring them to Thailand. Again, 7-Elevens can be the best place to get all your need for your vacation. So I see many of my friends coming to Thailand worried about their toothpaste, perfumes, deodorants and more. Just go to any 7-Eleven, get what you want. Why for that mess in your bag? Moreover, you have here all the latest brands with many promotions. So try new things, unless you are so sensitive, then get your creams with you. Here is another thing, electrical adapters and useless cables. Guys, this is Thailand. First, the wall plugs are international. No matter what kind of plug you have, you can adapt it. Second, most of the hotels have adapters, in case if you need. Third, if you wanna buy one and electrical stuff, just go to any market and you will find things that are not available even in your own country. And guess what? With very cheap prices. So why to carry all this stuff if you don't need them. You are in vacation, you want to have some beautiful pics in Thailand? Well, that does not mean you should pack your fancy clothing. This is Thailand and it's hot most of the time, if not all around the year. So you won't be wearing your fancy clothes in 40 degrees or maybe your fancy shoes in the rain or dirt. And if you are wondering what to wear in fancy places, a pair of jeans will do okay. Moreover, if it's cold in the north or maybe in the sky terrain, then a light jacket will be okay. So don't overpack, it's a waste of space and time, and extra weight. It rains in Thailand. And yes, you have rainy season, but no need for raincoats. Here in Thailand, most of the rainy days you can survive even when you are wearing your shorts and t-shirts. Moreover, you can buy the raincoat which costs only 50 Thai baht with different colors and enjoy walking in the rain. And yes, the weather is so hot. Also towels are available in the hotels, in the hostels, in the condos you rent or maybe the service apartments. So keep such stuff at home. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about everything you should know before coming to Thailand and moreover the things that you should not bring while you are coming to Thailand. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.